Webin FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to Western Supermare at home in the National League South. Aaron, we're on the back of a good run of form back at Woodside Road for the first time. It feels like a little while. How are you feeling going into it? Uh, looking forward to it. Obviously, last home game. Um, hopefully, there should be some good fans, good turnout. Um, but obviously, just looking forward to getting a performance. Hopefully, a good one done and dusted and securing that top top two or three place. What are you looking for from your side on Saturday? Um, just. Uh, Keep being resilient in our defending like we have been recently. Um, still looking for some improvements on the ball. Um, we'll just take a game to them and just hopefully come away with three points. We saw the back of the win against St Albans uh, previous weekend. What were your main takeaways from that performance? I think we sort of resilience wise, we were under the cost a little bit from a lot of their their play. And I thought we dealt with it really well. So again, there's a, there's a positive in terms of um, going forward. Again, just sort of tidying up on in possession bits. Um, just trying to control the game a bit better. Do you think they're going to be important things going into the into the playoffs and maintaining the ball a little bit better than we have been recently? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it just makes if we have control of the game, control of the ball, it just limits their, limits their chances of um, sort of either countering us or getting shots on our goal. So it'd be vitally important. Looking at the opposition, Western Sea, we obviously had a pretty torrid time away at their place earlier in the season on a, a Tuesday night. I think anyone that was there will remember that evening. Um, but they're a side that's done pretty well for themselves this season, competitive, and they've got a game tonight as of recording. What are you expecting from them going into Saturday with such a quick turnaround of games? Um, I think they'll be well organised. I think they'll, you know, this will be their third game they play tonight, so the fourth game in, in seven days on Saturday. Um, so, you know, you might expect them to be a bit leggy, but, you know, they, they might come with a few surprises. They've obviously got nothing to play for. It's their last game of the season, so they might want to experiment something different, they might want to try something new, so um, anything can catch us off guard. Uh, but ultimately today, tonight in training and, and going forward on Saturday, we're trying to focus on us and try and make us and or make us better in what we do. Obviously a side's quite different from that meeting back in November, but is there anything that's been looked back on from that game? Uh, not really. I think there's, there's been a few changes since then. Um, so although we can look at them in terms of how they played and what they've done, it's still a long time away. They might have changed a few things. Um, and ultimately, like I said, we've had a few personnel changes as well. So, no, just looking forward. Looking at the squads going into Saturday, who do you think might be available? And looking at most to be available, I think um, Nicky's had a good session tonight and he might be available for selection maybe, um, but we'll have to wait and see after, after tonight. Positive. And so, aside from that, everyone full bill of health? Yeah, apart from Ruben Austin, he's still got a bit of a, uh, a groin injury, so we're still assessing that and looking at that. Uh, but apart from that, um, everyone's looking well. And just to touch on uh, an achievement that's been noted last Saturday, about 100 goals to the side this season by a country mile the most in this division. How proud are you as a manager to know that that is still such a big part of our game? Yeah, no, look, I've only been in charge for a couple of months, so it's not really anything I've done too much, but it's obviously nice just for the club and, and like you say, the level that we're playing at. To hit that milestone and hit that record, I think it's a, a, a great achievement for the club. Looking into Saturday, you mentioned already about the occasion and potentially having a good crowd. How big could it be to have a great fan base here going into the playoffs and well, wherever we wind up in the playoffs, how big could it be for that momentum? I think, I've said it before, I think when you're when you're under the cosh in games and you need to sort of dig in and, and show a bit of grit and determination, that's when I think the fans have noticed most. Um, it's great when we're winning and, and obviously they're singing and making noise, but ultimately when we're when we're under the cosh, that's when, when they need, need it most. And being at home, that might happen on Saturday. Might need them for five, ten minutes for that spell. Um, so hopefully, like they always do, they might pipe up and uh, help us through. Quickly touch on the playoffs, actually. The um, positioning, we're obviously third in the table at the moment. Um, we could finish in second, we could wind up finishing in fifth. So how big is it to secure as high a place as possible? Yeah, obviously, if you finish second, you get all home ties. So that's obviously a bonus. Um, but obviously, second and third, missing that. Uh, first knockoff or elimination phase, which will be very, really, very really important in terms of keeping the squad fresh and limiting the game time, and hopefully um, an extra week recovery in comparison to the teams that are playing in the, in the elimination.